Hi there, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Onkyo BDSP309, our new entry level Blu ray player that also has networking features to allow you to actually stream video and audio across your network using a DLNA server. Here we have the home menu of the Blu ray player, and the first thing we need to do is just make a couple of adjustments to the audio video settings before you can get the best picture and the best sound from the unit. Out of the box the unit is set to auto for the resolution. You can actually change this down to 1080p, 1080i, 720p or 576 Next we need to set the secondary audio. To get the True HD or the DTS Master Audio output via a bitstream signal you will need to turn this off then when you play back the movie you'll actually see DTSMA or Dolby Digital True HD come up on the screen. This menu here is pretty self-explanatory when you select the audio out whether you want to use the optical on the back of the machine or the actual HDMI signal. The next setting we're going to move on to is the smart settings. This is just a simple auto shutdown if there's inactivity after 10 minutes. Quite simply, if you leave the machine alone for 10 minutes, it'll go into standby. The HDMI control is Onkyo's RIHD or Panasonic call it Viera Link, other companies call it AnyNet Plus. It allows for full CEC communications between multiple devices. So, for example, you turn the Blu-ray player on, the amplifier will automatically switch on, switch over to the correct input, and then the TV will switch on, switch over to the correct input. It just allows for nice, seamless, intuitive control. Next, we have the playback settings. This is where you can make modifications to how the Blu-ray disc will interact with the internet, whether you want to have parental settings, 3D warnings come up when you put a 3D disc in, all sorts of different options of how the actual disc will play back to you. Communication setup is all about networking and how the actual machine will sit on your network. Currently it's set to auto and I would recommend you leave it in your auto setup unless there's something specific you need to do on your network. The rest of the settings are pretty much self-explanatory, so I won't waste any more time and I'll get on and show you how to stream some audio and video via the DLNA server through to the BD309. I'm now going to play some music for you from the server. The Onkyo uses a very simple tree system when you're actually trying to navigate through folders to get to the desired track. As you can see here, I've got the TV Mobley server which I use on my Mac and then I've got a Bookworld hard drive that sits on my network. I'm just going to navigate through the tree system of all the folders and get to a particular track and play it. And there we go, we're now listening to an MP3 track played over the network from a hard drive using the DLNA system. Now I'm going to show you playing back a movie from a USB stick. Really simple, just put the USB stick in, give the machine a small amount of time to actually recognize the drive is there and to initialize it. And then we can go straight in. Here you can see the famous iceberg demo disc which I use all the time and here we go watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.